So welcome back to another episode of Retirement Income Planning with Eric. So let me just set this back up uh, to the previous state. And then in this episode, we're going to talk about what we call a safe withdrawal rate. So before we get started, I just remember to celebrate another 4K success stories. Uh, and I forgot to do that last video. So Surakesh made 40% from BABA in two months. Maggie made 60% from FUV in 20 days. Adrian made 29% from OTEX in three months. And Sam made 38% from JKHY in two weeks. And four more successful case studies where Mike made 59% from Altrix in five months. Ben made 52% from Altrix in five months. Adrian made 30% from Altrix in three months. And Caitlin made 50% from Altrix in one month. So congratulations to all eight individuals here. Uh, so these are great successful case studies and keep up the good work. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the withdrawal rate. So that is really the exciting part because now we're planning on how much money you want to take out. So in order to determine what your withdrawal rate is, it really comes down to how much you want to spend a year. So obviously this changes based on your lifestyle, but I have created an estimation after studying a lot of people who retire, how much they want to have when they retire. And this is kind of what I came up with. So if you are retiring by yourself, so you're just taking care of yourself, then you're really looking at 25,000 a year. So divided by 12, that is approximately 2K a year. So I'm being conservative and I do assume you pay some form of rent. Even if you don't pay rent, you're probably paying property taxes and maintenance fee anyways. So you're paying something to live, okay? And I think this also allows you to travel frugally uh, as well. So that's what this number is. Now, if you want to be a little bit more aggressive, you want 50K, then just enter 50K here and all the calculation below will change. And I'll explain what this means in a bit. So once you have determined that, then a married person is just times two and a kid, which is one kid here, is times three. So technically this is not per person, so I'm just going to take this out. Um, so, so then it's less confusing. So this should include a food, insurance. Uh, well, if you're in Canada, there's no insurance anymore for healthcare because it's built into your tax rate. Housing, airplane tickets, utilities, strata fees, mortgage, your car payments, if any. So you really need to encompass all of that together. Now, when you are planning for retirement, I think one of the big considerations is how old you are. So if you're 65, 70, you can probably get away with this $25,000 if you're by yourself. If you're in your 60s or 50s and you want to retire, you're probably looking closer to 50K because you and your spouse are retiring together. If you are younger, let's say you're 30 or 40 and you want to retire because you want to do an early fire, like financial independence, retire early, then you're really looking at 75K because you want to give yourself that option to have kids. And too often, I read a lot of stories that people initially, they might have achieved fire at 30 because they work in a tech job, they got a ton of money, and now they're kind of cruising along, traveling the world, so on and so forth. But later on, when they're in their 40s, they realize or they got a kid accidentally and now their expenses went up, so that person needs to go back to work again. So that's why I'm giving you all three scenarios here to cover uh, your basis. So then if you are in any one of these situations, you can always change it up and make it work for you in terms of the calculator. Okay, so right now, let me just change this to 7% first. Uh, so then the calculation makes more sense. So what we're doing here, this number or this ratio is to calculate how much expenses relative to the year over year gain you're getting. Okay, so if I open this up, then you'll see that, okay, 
I'm taking 25,000 divided by the year over year gain of 7,000. Okay, it's actually the other way around. It's the gain divided by the expenses. And the reason why I'm doing that is I'm trying to see how many years of expenses I'm earning with the gain I have this year. So with 100,000, I'm only making 7,000 gain. So it's actually not enough to cover my expenses as a person, 25,000 a year. So it's a little bit harder to interpret with only 7,000 of gain. So I'm actually gonna change this to a million first so then you can better understand it. So now it's it makes a lot more sense. So my year over year gain is 70,000 and that is more than enough to cover my expenses. So it's 2.8 times of my solo expenses. Now this number is important because you wanna see how much buffer room you have. So this number ideally should be one, uh, but in this case, I've actually made it so that it colors it to yellow when it is greater than two, and it colors it to green when it is greater than four. So yellow means you have quite a bit of buffer room you know, if one year you're not getting 7%, it's not the end of the world, you're still okay. If it is green, then you're pretty safe. If you just make the return for one year, 7%, you're good for four years. So that's really how you think about it. After that, there's no more distinction in terms of colors. It's just yellow or green. So this, you will see that, hey, if I have a million dollar portfolio, I make 7%, I can already cover my expenses for two and eight times. And then afterwards, if I'm married, I'm just covering both of our expenses. If I have one kid, then I'm still a little bit short. Uh, but after two years, then I'm gonna be uh, covering my expenses at least one time, which is 75,000 in this case. So that's how you play with the calculator. So then you can kind of estimate, maybe you, know, you want 30,000 for your solo. So then you can change this number and then you can see, okay, I think every year I need to make two times or three times of my annual expenses for me to feel safe. And that is really the safety uh, withdrawal number. So when you're reading or learning about retirement, there's something called a 4% rule, which I have another whole video on, which is a similar concept, except this calculator tailors to your annual expense as long as you know what it is. Okay. All right, so at this point, let me just change this assumption so then it goes to around, let's say, 100,000. I think that's fine because I think a lot of people are starting to invest with 100,000, so that's okay. So if you're looking at this amount, now we can kind of close these three columns if you want to, uh, but I think it's simpler if I leave it open, so I'm going to leave it open for you. So after investing saving a thousand every month making seven percent then at the 19th year you can actually retire by yourself so you basically need around eight hundred thousand if you want to be aggressive you can get away with four hundred thousand but of course if the market fluctuates you know let's say one year you make three percent one year you make ten percent then you will feel very uncomfortable because you might not have enough money to cover for that year especially if this is your only income source so then you want that buffer. So that's why you want to aim for it two times. Now, personally, I want to be even more safe. So that's why I aim for it four times. So that means you would need to work and save for 28 years under this plan. So you can see how, um, how long you need to work uh, before you can achieve financial independence and retire early. Now, when you're looking at a more aggressive strategy, like investing accelerator, then you're aiming for 30%. So this allows you to rapidly grow your portfolio. It focuses on growth. It doesn't focus on dividend. Then here you can see you can actually achieve fire a lot faster. So um, you double every three years. So in six years, you should be able to get to somewhere closer to 600,000. So here you can see this number is actually growing a lot faster because it's a combination of saving. So this 12K plus the 30K, so 142. And then afterwards, you make another 30% on that, so on and so forth. So you can easily achieve four times of your annual expense in a matter of years. Um, so yeah, 
That's basically how the calculation works. Now, when you think about you know the later numbers, I know some people are going to tell me that, hey, Eric, you can become a billionaire. Now, you need to take into consideration that not every single year you're going to be getting 30%. Uh, so you need to take that into account and just be more conservative. Now, of course, if you make 30% every year, then, hey, perhaps you could become a billionaire um, one day, but that would take a lot of dedication and compounding to get there. Uh, so when I become a billionaire, I'll let you know and tell you that, hey, this math works. So that is pretty much it for the withdrawal rates. So you can either use the 4% rule, which is another video I made, or you can use this calculator and then you can adjust your assumption and tailor that to your specific situation. So that's really the benefits of this um, uh, calculator on the right hand side anyways. So then that gives you a clear idea on what you need to do to get to where you want to go. So we're almost at the 12 minute mark. Uh, so if you want to learn more about investing, then you can go to the first link in the description and grab the free training below. And it is a four hour training on how to invest in the stock markets. It'll teach you a lot about the charts, teach you about how fundamental and technical analysis work. It will have one of the first modules of investing accelerator where you can access it for free. And you will also get two historical coaching calls and you'll see how we analyze the market to find good opportunities to buy. So if you haven't gone through that, then grab a cup of coffee and watch it. Uh, so far, a lot of good feedback has come out of the webinar. So I think it will be very beneficial to you as well. So I'll see you in the next video.